Good morning. This is going to be our first part in a multi-part series on managing your emotions with plants. So we're going to be talking about how to use essential oils this morning, ones you probably already have on hand if you're in this group, to set up yourself for emotional balance throughout the day. This is something that I didn't fully embrace when I first started using oils. I got into oils for cleaning. I got into oils for immunity. We needed help with getting all of that crud and toxic um, junk out of our house that was making us sick. But as time went on, I saw the way that using oils in our diffuser and applying them topically actually worked to help balance our emotions and bring us back to level, if you will, when things were too low or too high. So I'm just gonna talk today briefly about how you can use a few key oils you probably already have on hand to set yourself up for success during the day. How this works, you guys, I'm not a scientist, but how it works in my brain is that, if imagine if you just ate fruit and vegetables all week how great you would feel. You may have a little bit of a detox at first, but after the after first couple days, that would die off and you would feel amazing, okay? What's so great, one of the greatest things about eating fruits and vegetables is the antioxidants that you get into your body. Those same antioxidants are in these little bottles of plant oils, okay? So, but they're just much more concentrated. So when you're rubbing them on your skin, which is your largest organ and it's like a sponge, um, you're soaking up all those concentrated antioxidants into your cells. So if you're eating good and you're taking care of your body through your nutrition and you're also putting on antioxidants into your cells topically, you're gonna feel better, all right? It's just, just test me on this. The days that I don't do my oily routine, and I'll go through that in a minute, are some of my worst days emotionally. Um, I don't, again, other than the antioxidants getting into your cells and the smell triggering um, good emotions in your brain, there's science behind that, that as the little molecules get up into your nose hairs and they activate things in the back of your brain, in your olfactory system, um, in your limbic system, your emotions are more even keel. So that's my definition, that's my explanation of the science. I can definitely post more scientific articles in this group you wanna read about it. But um, through your nose, through your skin, that's gonna set you up for an emotionally balanced day. So how I do that, I'm just gonna run through my routine quickly. And that's what this is. This video is gonna be about, is just um, setting up a routine for yourself, preferably right away in the morning. Um, and then next week, we'll talk about how to kind of conquer or overcome those negative emotions, and we'll name some of them, talk about specific oils you can use to dispel those. So the first thing I do when I get up in the morning, I'm sitting in my bathroom, because I wanted to show you guys what I have in here is I spray my face with this. This is called Royal Hawaiian, Sal Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood Hydrosol. So it's like the oil distilled, um, it's like the distiller water from sandalwood plants. So it has sandalwood constituents in, in it, but it also has clean and pure water in it. It comes from Hawaii. So I just spray my face. You can see the mist like that. It smells like caramelized brown sugar to me. So that's the first smell that I smell in the morning. I literally walk in here, open this thing, spray my face, go to the bathroom, <laughs> and then I come back and I grab either Aroma Life or Ylang Ylang. Okay, the reason why I like to use these oils, um, Aroma Life has Ylang Ylang in it, is it's a heart and cardio supporting oil. So I just rub this right over, like right, see that clavicle bone right below that and over my heart. It's the second thing I do in the morning after I go to the bathroom. Okay, and it smells like a really great perfume, not too heady, not too overbearing. It's a floral scent, so that's the second thing I do. It helps keep my cardiovascular system healthy, and it also just 
um, makes me feel better. It makes me feel happier smelling that in the morning right away. So those two things are in my bathroom cabinet. Then the next thing I do is I go into the kitchen and usually Mitch is already up, almost always. I'm like one of the last people up, I'm a night owl. And I put oils in our kitchen diffuser. So, and that's very important, you guys. Keep a diffuser in your kitchen. Don't just leave it for your bedroom. If you don't have more than one diffuser, move it to the kitchen or purchase another diffuser. They're not that expensive. In fact, the one I have in my kitchen is from Amazon. Don't love the Amazon diffusers as much as Young Living, but I have yet to purchase the Aria, which is the one with the glass dome. And honestly, I don't know if I would keep it in my kitchen because I'm not sure that it wouldn't get bumped off. So get another diffuser, put it in your kitchen. Um, so when people are eating at the breakfast nook or you're doing dishes, um, you can get those benefits, those emotional benefits of smelling those oils. So I'm just gonna give you an example of one that I used yesterday. Um, again, it's usually whatever I have on hand. I'll make a mixture of three or I'll just use my favorite blend. So I used eucalyptus globulus about four drops of that. I used two drops of Ramitsera. These are all singles. Um, and then I used two drops of clove. So the eucalyptus opens up the airways. The clove is really great for purifying the air, it adds a little bit of a spice, and then the Ramitsera. Um, oh my gosh, such a great, it's almost like a cross between the clove and the eucalyptus globulus. So. I use those three in my diffuser, so that's going as everybody's eating breakfast in the morning and I'm doing dishes and we're getting lunches packed and getting the kids out the door. So we're, we're awake, right? We're smelling those oils, they're very invigorating. We're opening up our airways, we're awake. And then I wanted to share with you what I put on my seven-year-old um, to set him up for the day because you guys actually have these two oils. So, we keep the rollers right by the diffuser and our supplements, Valor and Peace and Calming. You have these in your kit if you've got this premium starter kit. Um, another thing is you can always order the premium starter kit even after you become a member. It's available to existing members too. So if you need another, another diffuser and you need to up some of your oils, just order another premium starter kit. It's 50% off if you were to put all those things in your cart you would pay twice as much as just getting that kit again. So Valor, this is the oil of emotional balance for many people. Um, I rub this on Maddox's feet. You can also rub it on your wrists and kind of press it together until you feel like an emotional release or charge. Um, you can rub it along your spine, but I rub it on his feet, his toes before school. And then I take Peace and Calming. Again, these are in your kit if you have your premium starter kit. And I roll it right along his spine and behind his ears before school. Peace and Calming does exactly what it says. This is the anxiety sufferer's favorite oil. Um, also a lot of ADHD, attention deficit, um, autism, that sort of thing, they love the, this oil. And I just love it because it smells so good. It smells like a grove of citrus blossoms in the springtime here in Arizona. So that's what I do for Matic. Um, and then my oily protocol, once everybody leaves the house and I have some quiet time to sit down and start my day, my work day is actually in here. So it's quite a few oils. I'm not gonna go through all of them because I will send out an email, you guys, probably with this video, if you're not watching this video, in our breathe and roll on group you're probably getting an email with it and then i will link this this is um one of my favorite leaders in young living her name is deborah starkey out of texas she was a widow um, she was a herbalist a naturopathic doctor and then she picked up on young living oils and she's been in the business for over 10 years i want to say close to 20 years love her heart um she's very faithful and so this is her morning prayer routine with oils and i just print it out i keep it in my little carrying case i just repeat the prayers as i apply the oils um, i'll just list them off for you guys in case you're wondering what's in there but i'm not going to go over all of them individually abundance which is free this month if you're getting a i think 250 dollars er order so just keep that up. big bottle of abundance is free 
Brain Power, Clarity, Aroma Life, which is the one I talked about rubbing over my heart, Highest Potential, that's also available in the Feelings Kit. If you don't have the Feelings Kit, oh my gosh, I better do a whole video in a couple weeks on that. It's amazing. Egyptian Gold, Magnify My Purpose, White Angelica, a lot of you love White Angelica, I'm going to go over that one in a minute, Palo Santo, Rose, Frankincense, Transformation, Gratitude, Joy, Present Time, and Leadum. Okay, so some of the more popular ones, I'm just going to do three out of that list, is um, White Angelica. This is rumored to be the oil of angels. That's how Gary created it. Um, it does, this is her prayer. She puts it on her shoulders. Protect me in my household today in all I do and from any evil that may be near. Allow no negative energy or thinking from another to interfere in my life. So a lot of you put this on like your armor before you leave the house in the morning. And I can tell you that that works for me too. If you're somebody that soaks up all the negative energy from other people or emotions, this is your best friend. Okay, so you just take a drop, rub it in your hands. Some people rub it like all over their body like this, kind of like your aura or um, you know the energy that's surrounding you. Some people just do it on their shoulders, kind of like armor again. Some people put it in their hair, kind of like perfume. It smells a little bit florally, but a whole lot of good, you guys. If you love it, would you please comment below why you love it and what you think it smells like for those of us that haven't tried it. Okay, um, another one that is pretty popular is Joy. This one is floral smelling because um, it's got some great geranium and um, ylang ylang in it, I think. Quite a few different ones, let me see. Tangerine, coriander, lemon. I like this one and this how Deborah uses it is over her heart. May everyone I speak with today see the joy of the Lord in me. So just rubbing it like in that same spot where I put my ylang ylang, rub it over your heart. Pro tip guys, girls actually. This is a great hormone supporting oil. So in the first half of your cycle, rub this right below your belly button, a drop of it once a day. Some people call it like your happy pants oil. So there, you have that bonus tip, joy. Um, and let's see, let's pick one more. One more, let's see. Uh, let's do frankincense um, because you guys have that one in your kit. Frankincense is a great oil for so many things. Um, let's see how she uses it. She inhales it, puts it on her forehead, her ear, so you just take a drop of it, put it like right on the rim of your ear and her big toe. Thank you for anointing on my life today is her prayer. I like it because it's super grounding. I mean, it just is like if you are freaking out about something, you can't focus, um, you're feeling a little run down. Frankincense is your best friend. Some people say that lavender is like the oil of everything. I say frankincense is the oil of everything. If you don't know what oil to use, but you know you need help with something, whether it's your throat, whether it's your courage, whether it's your mindset, get out your frankincense, put it on, put it on the back of your neck, inhale it. I promise you it's gonna help, okay? So that is a big one to always have on hand. And that is also in my morning prayer routine. This is actually sacred frankincense. So there is um, two different kinds that we carry, frankincense and sacred. Very similar. This one's just a little bit more precious, a little more expensive. Um, and you can use it just like your regular frankincense. So that's it, you guys. We're about 15 minutes in. So I'm going to let you go. Next week, we'll be talking about ways to... Um, you know, when those waves of emotions come, how to deal with them in the moment with your oils. But it's important that you pick your own morning routine and you stick with it. I promise you, you're going to feel a difference, especially on the days you forget it. So have a great Saturday.